Now lumber prices have been high all this year and I really thought they had come down quite a bit. I figured this little load of materials was going to cost me somewhere in the two to three hundred dollar range but I was willing to pay that much. But to my surprise it was Seems like there's been a lot of little things going on around here that just don't quite make it into a video or a vlog or whatever you want to call these things that I'm doing here. So before I show you my trip to the lumber yard today to spend way too much money on lumber, I thought I'd catch you up on a few of the things that we've been doing around here. Of course, Janet's been weaving. She's finished a few rugs and we've made a couple of trips down to Chama, New Mexico to drop things off at Tierra Walls. The first trip over to Chama was late summer. Everything was green. The flowers were in bloom. It was really a pretty day. It was cloudy and overcast. Although it is open rangeland and there were a lot of cows on the road that day. The next trip, only a little over a month later, the aspen were already starting to turn and it was another spectacular drive, but a whole different type of scenery with the golden aspen. Looks like I get help with this video. You've met George before. This is George. It's been a greener year this year. We've had a little bit more rain and that means we have had apples and wild plums more than we'll actually do anything with. It's a whole lot of work to prepare both of those for applesauce or pies or jams, jellies, any of that kind of stuff. Generally the bears get them long before we do, but this year the bears seem to be getting plenty of food away from houses and we've had plenty of apples to snack on and and just now they're starting to get ripe enough that they're kind of sweet before they were a little bit green and tart. Of course we've been working out in the yard and this year the wasps have also been quite prolific. Both Janet and I have been stung. I was out cutting brush yesterday and I got stung by a wasp. Now look at my arm. That's really kind of uncomfortable. And of course I don't have an ice pack around for some silly reason. So how about a package of frozen sausages? Luckily the swelling didn't last too long and things are all back to normal now. But with fall coming on that means we're starting to look at indoor projects. So that's why I decided to go to the lumber yard today with what I thought was a pretty darn reasonable list. Now lumber prices have been high all this year and I really thought they had come down quite a bit. I figured this little load of materials was going to cost me somewhere in the two to three hundred dollar range but I was willing to pay that much. But to my surprise it was nine hundred and forty dollars and this isn't that much material. Probably a good thing I didn't know that before I came or I might have put these projects off for another year.
And this is stuff that's going to be used to work on some of the interior trim projects. Janet's been doing some natural clay paint on one of the living room walls. And that wall hasn't had the trim done yet. So once she's done with the paint, we'll put the trim up, oil the trim, and hopefully at least that wall will be done. But I had no idea lumber prices were still that much. It used to be for that much money, you'd get pretty much a whole truckload of lumber. And this wasn't all that much stuff for $940 way more than I had budgeted, so I'm going to have to tighten my belt a few other places around here. Luckily, this is probably enough materials to carry us through several small winter projects doing trim in the living room. In fact, my office down here needs some trim around the windows. You can still see the insulation that fills in around the edges. Hopefully that stuff will all get done this fall and winter, and hopefully we'll be able to share some of it with you folks. But that's really all I had today. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you for the next one.